অডিওহরিক চ্যানেলে আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমি অন্তরা আজ আপনাদের পড়ে শোনাব অ্যান্ডি ওয়ার্ডের লেখা দ্য এক গল্পটি আশা করি সবাই সাবস্ক্রাইব করে আমাদের পাশে থাকবেন লাইক কমেন্ট এবং শেয়ার করে অডিওহরিকে ছড়িয়ে দিতে সাহায্য করবেন ইউ ওয়ার অন ইউর ওয়ে হোম ওয়েন ইউ ডাইড ইট ওয়াজ এ কার অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট Nothing particularly remarkable, but fat or nonetheless. You left behind a wife and two children. It was a painless death. The ENTs tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered. You were better off. Trust me. What? What happened? You asked. Why am I? You died. I said. Matter of factly. No point in mincing words. There was a... A truck. And it was a skidding. Yup. I said. I... I died. Yep, but don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies, I said. You looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. What is this place? You asked. Is this the afterlife? More or less, I said. Are you God? You asked. Yes, I replied. I'm God. My kids? My wife? You said. What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I would like to be see. I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like a god. I just looked like some man. Or possibly a woman. Some fake authority figure, maybe. More of a grammar school teacher than the almighty. Don't worry. I said. That'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. I didn't have time to grow contempt for you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she will very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, you see it. So, what's the point now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither, I said. You will be reincarnated. Ah, uh, you said. So, the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way, I said. Fuck with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Why are we going? Nowhere in particular, I said. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So what's the point then? You asked. When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So all my experiences and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so, I said. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind 
can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been in a human for the last 48 years. So you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. And into lots of different lives, I said. This time around, you will be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Wait, what? You stammered. You were sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically. Time, as you know it, only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Where you come from? You said. Oh, sure. I explained. I came from somewhere. Somewhere else. And there are others like me. I know you will want to know what it's like there. But honestly, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you said. A little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other place in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Sure, happens all the time. And with both lives, only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know it's happening. So what's the point of it all? Seriously? I asked. Seriously? You are asking me for the meaning of life? Isn't that a little stereotypical? Well, it's a reasonable question. You persisted. I took you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I've made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind? You want us to mature? No, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grew and mature and became a larger and greater intellect. Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else, I said. In this universe, there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on earth? All you. Different incarnation of you. Wait, I'm everyone? Now you are getting it, I said, with a congratulatory slap on the back. I'm every human being who ever lived or who will live. Yes. I'm Abraham Lincoln and you are John Wilkes, both too, I added. Um, Hitler, you said, appled, and you are the millions he killed. Um, Jesus, and you are everyone who followed him. You fell silent. Every time you victimized your, someone, I said, you are victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you have done, you have done to yourself. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. You thought for a long time. Why? You asked me. Why do all this? Because, 
someday you will become like me because that's what you are you are one of my kind you are my child who you said incredulous you mean i'm god no not yet you are a fetus you are still growing once you have lived every human life throughout all time you will have grown enough to be born so the whole universe you said it's just an egg i answered now it's time for you to move on to your next life and i send you on your way <laughs>